but I could tell you a funny joke about Wembley Arena. Mm -hmm. So we another tour, we fly in. <clears throat> now there's a little now the it, the English and German, they're caterers. Like it was a thing. These these ladies in Germany would cook Wiener Schnitzels and all these m a huge meals. I remember the one in Royal Albert Hall, and we're like, we would explain it. We cannot eat that before we wrestle. We'll die out there. So they would pack, cook all this food and pack it up and put it on the bus for us. Then after six hours on the bus, you get hungry, you go eat all that food, you know? Good food too. But we we got to back to England and um they had stuff spread out and i see these big giant jelly filled like donuts so i go I'm, i see i don't know if i'll have a donut there but it was late but i see i'm looking down the hallway at wembley and tony Gurria's ringside this is in the afternoon setting up the thing so i take one of these one of these donuts the only one there was i think the brawl brooklyn brawler that, that so he probably told him but i go i wonder if i i this so i took the donut and it's not, it just whizzed it as hard as I could, the donut. And as Tony turned, that jelly donut hit him right in the forehead. And I ran and hid. He came back. He was cursing. Who the get through that goddamn donut? I'll kill you in the whatever. So not knowing anything, we were wrestling. What was um were they the head uh, uh the islanders or head shrinkers? Head shrinkers uh, uh, Rikishi, yeah. Rikishi and Sammy, uh office son, right? Mm -hmm. Now they got all their offspring or all those some the kids that were little are all wrestling now. You know, we knew Imago when he was little, Rosie, all of them were just kids. Uh, when we were with the Tonga kid and all them, now there's a whole nother generation of their kids, uh, all the Samoans in the, um, uh, in WWE right now. But, um, we were at Sammy was young and Rikishi before he did the, the, before his ass got real big like that, they were like an Islander team. And we wrestled on one of the first raws ever with them. I remember Sammy, I gave him a potato. He got me back, and uh, I had to go get stitches on one of the first Raws. It was in Poughkeepsie, and um, he hit me with a pot. We wrestled over the building because we had to go because there was a storm delayed. No, nobody was there but us. All the other flights got canceled. He said, keep wrestling. We fought all over the building. I had to get stitches, but somebody told Tony I threw the donut. <laughs> and back in the day, I don't know the – Bushwhackers would do it. Tony Gurria, Chief J. They'd all carry raw garlic and eat it during the day for health reasons. You know, like a, in their pockets. Uh, somebody got on this kick. It would just make your breasts just stink like hell, you know, the garlic. They'd eat the garlic. For, garlic's good for you. I love garlic, like in Italian food. Stuff, but, you know, I smell like garlic. But I didn't realize that Tony knew I threw the donut. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. at Wembley. So we're in like uh I either right like before semi main or right after the popcorn match after an mission in between their tag match, the Islanders or what was it or the the hedge, whatever they were at the time, mm -hmm. Sammy and thing. So Tony cut a deal with Sammy. He gives him a handful of garlic. I don't know this. I'm talking about a whole garlic bulb, but peeled and thing. So not knowing it, Sammy tags out. He takes the garlic out of his pocket and he puts it all on his mouth and chews it all up. The whole bulb of garlic during our match. Now they got me in the heat and they're bumping me around. He gets me, slams me and, and put, you know, push me down. I'm thinking he's going to go and do one of his, the Samoan drop or whatever he does off the thing. And I see him like reach for his mouth like this. I think he's going to like drop a punch on me, but it, He's the chewed garlic. I'm huffing and puffing. All the big wad of chewed garlic right in my mouth, live at Wembley when I'm in the ring. And I inhaled it. it half it went in my lungs <laughs> and the garlic. <laughs> and it was gagging me. I'm like, Ugh, and I'm caught. I think I roll over. I can't. I'm turning blue knobs. Goes, are you having what's wrong with you? Having a heart attack? Go, the, 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 the fucking garlic. He, put in my, he goes, what? What are you doing? I couldn't get over there. I, I was turning blue because it's in my lungs, and the, but the fucking terrible garlic smell. And I finally get over and tag. He, he goes, "What? A, shut the fuck!" Knobs got mad and goes in the ring. 
I'm in there trying to get spitting the shit out. That son of a bitch. And they, then he got back. He goes, Tony made me do it. Tony made me do it. He goes, you ever throw a fucking donut at me again? That's it. I go, who told him about this? <laughs> and I realized it's a, it's somebody told him about this. There was sags that threw the donut at your head. So I got garlic in my mouth during the match. That was the worst <laughs> fucking thing ever. You talk about stinky and oh my God, chewed somebody out of somebody's mouth. It was a, it was worse than smelling Ron Bass or Don Bass, whatever the fuck his name was. Oh my God, it was horrible. <laughs>